so this is a bit of a different video. You could probably tell taking a look at this table right here that we've got a lot of Galaxy S8 and S8 Pluses. And there's a reason for it because you saw the title of this video. So I woke up this morning and just like any other smartphone launch, there was a news story. Breaking news on the S8 and specifically the screen of the S8. So some of the first people in the world to get their hands on these devices were those in South Korea. This report emerged that certain individuals were affected by a red screen. The red screen of death. Not like their screen went red, but instead that the white balance on their display trended towards a reddish tint. I said, let me get my hands on a bunch of Galaxy S8s so I can examine them myself so you can decide, is this a real issue or is it overblown? So let's figure it out. Now, first things first, where did I even get these 10 phones? From my good friends at D-Brand. Check it out, look, they got a new skin. Look at that thing. Jack, give them a look at that. What's it called, Dragon? It's unbelievable. So D-Brand brought these over so I could do this test and inform the world and hopefully put this thing to rest. I don't know, we'll find out. So you've been looking at these displays for a while now and it might be hard for you to even distinguish any difference at all through the screen that you're watching this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of when I do headphone videos. You're relying on my reaction because you can't hear what I'm hearing. But in this case, at least we have some form of visual representation. Now the reason that I'm booted into this screen right here is so that you can see that none of the color balance settings have been modified. This is the stock adaptive display setting out of the box with the default resolution. Now to my eyes, I can see ever so slight discrepancies between some of the displays that look a little bit more reddish than others. This is not a gigantic sample size. This is just 10 phones, so take that for what it's worth. But this is 10 devices, and they all appear a little bit different. So some of them are a little more greenish, bluish, and others a little bit more red. This one, for example, is trending a little more on the reddish side. This one up here, a little more greenish blue. And then this one over here, also a little bit more pink. You have the ability to kind of tweak this display better than a lot of other displays out there with this color balance setting. So if your display is a little more red, you could grab the the red value and bring it down a little bit, maybe into something that's a bit more pleasing. But what the articles were stating, even after the adjustment, still remain a kind of displeasing reddish hue. So what I've done is I got this little device. So this guy right here is called the Nyx, and it's from a previous video I did. It's all that silica gel, he's drying up from the inside! And this guy can sense the color of anything that you pointed at and give you an actual RGB readout of the various color values. Be able to pick up those little discrepancies. It might not give us an exact readout of that color because it's coming through a screen and being backlit, but it should at least give us some sort of representation of the variance here. So this thing's pretty cool. It comes with a little app. So then I click scan R67 G108. B124, of course, red, green, blue. Now this device next to it, to my eyes, has a slightly more reddish hue to it. If I do the same scan, I get a different readout. So here I have R72. So the red value has increased a little bit. The first one, R67, back to the second one, R72. However, little or, or a lot that is to you, it's, it's gonna be subjective. You can have a cooler white, a warmer white. You can have some displays that, that trend more into the yellowish tones. To me, it's not the hugest deal in the world because I can go to this reddish display, toggle red down a couple, and what can we do? We could go from 72 to 69. Now what Samsung has said is that they are going to release a software update which will likely give you a few more stages on this color balance tool here to potentially push the red back even more if it happens to be something that's bothering you. There will be a discrepancy in all displays. It has to do with the manufacturing process and how difficult it is to get absolutely even tones across the board when it comes to OLED panels. That said, looking at 10 devices here, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how close they all are. Even my little device here senses 
very little variation from one to the next. R68, R71, R68, R67, R69, R70. Basically every single display here fits between R68 and R72. But of these 10 devices, I think myself and you as well, you would be happy to use any of these and you probably wouldn't grab any of them and say, hey, what's up with this red display? So if you were at all concerned about possibly bumping into a red display issue as a potential Galaxy S8 buyer, I don't think you're gonna bump into it. Sure, I could have checked a hundred phones, but this is a pretty decent sample size. And if that's not enough for you, apparently Samsung has said that even if the software update and the increased ability to tweak the color with this new software, which by the way is supposed to come out next week, if that's still unsatisfactory to you, then they actually will replace the hardware. From what I've read, the red tinge is probably not software related. If it is bothering you to that extent, chances are it's the, the way that the display was manufactured. But even if that is the case, apparently they're gonna swap them out. This might be one of those situations where there's just a few devices affected. Hopefully that's the case. If you've got a Galaxy S8 or if you've seen one, let me know how yours looks, if it's a little bit red or not, down in the comments there. But this video just serves to give you a glimpse at a bunch of them all together because if you were to walk into a store they're not going to have 10 side by side like this there's very few opportunities to see a bunch and to recognize hey what's normal and what's not and what is the range that it should be within and these 10 phones seem to point in the direction of relatively decent consistency here and just for fun let's do an iphone while we're at it so this is the iphone 7 Ooh, our value of 85. so there you go if you always wanted a reddish display and here's the 7 plus R88. So you wanna talk about red-ish displays. The iPhone products not only trend a little bit more red, but they're not even identical between both models here. Here's one more iPhone 7 Plus. If you missed this video, look at that. 24 karat gold. 87, 87. Ooh, these ones are maybe exact. Anyhow, displays vary quite a bit. And while you're there squinting and staring at your brand new S8, starting to wonder, is yours affected? Chances are it's not as far off as you think from the other ones that are out there. Did we put it to bed? Maybe not. Maybe a bunch of red displays emerge. Maybe we just put it to rest for now. I don't think you're going to have to worry about it.